Hi. Yeah. Um, I know it's been about a year, and I didn't post what happened after the wedding, and I I should have, and I'm sorry. I have some good news. We are still very happily married. We have gone through a whole lot this year, which I will um, talk about the next time I video blog, which is probably going to be later today. <laughs> but our wedding ended up being super fantastic. I did have a bridezilla moment. For my fall theme wedding, I was very particular with the cake. It was one of the one details I was like adamant. It had to be this way. The other things, I wanted more of a creative release so people can have fun with it, but the cake, I hate gaudy cakes with all sorts of frills and added gunk. I like a clean line, smooth cake. I don't want fancy borders, I don't like all those frosting borders. So written on the instructions by the, my, um, by the bakery, the woman I spoke with, she wrote, no frills, no frosting borders specifically big letters I watched her I signed that receipt after she added that <laughs> the cake was to be uh, cream cheese frosting with the, that ivory tint completely smooth a ribbon border on the base of each layer with fall leaves coming around and they could be creative about the fall leaves the size what they used to make the leaves. I, I just wanted some kind of form of leaf. <laughs> and I had a floral topper. So after we get to the church and I get into my gown and I'm looking around at everything waiting for the pictures to be done and I go downstairs to the reception room and it was breathtakingly gorgeous. My mother-in-law, Nate's mother and my mother wowed me with all the work they did. Even the chapel upstairs. I mean, it, it was just amazing and the facility where we had the wedding and the reception they really got into it and brought out a lot of their fall decorations just wow and I walk over to the cake table and what do I see on the cake? a frosting beaded frilly border at the base of each layer around the ribbon I kid you not so this little bridezilla went scramming upstairs I, no one was with me when I saw this I was alone and so no one understood how much this would upset me. And since I'd been so laid back with decisions, I don't think anyone knew how that that was actually something that was important to me. And I grabbed my cell phone upstairs in the bride's room because we had a nice big large bride's room and another room for the bridesmaid. And the groomsmen had a large huge room with like a poker table and an air hockey table. I mean, they were hooked up. <laughs> but anyway, I, I'm in the bride's room. Wow, that, that the sun is bright. And you know what? There's a curtain. I don't have the sun blocking curtain on that side because my husband hasn't hung it yet. But good grief. <laughs> anyway, I call the caterer because I have all my numbers with me and my receipts. I, I'm a thorough organized bride here. And the lady's like, well, I need to look at the receipt. And I'm like, I specifically said no frills, no frosting borders. And it was written on that receipt. She's like, well, and she was being real standoffish. She wasn't really, she wasn't like, oh, I'm sorry, you're upset. Let me, and wasn't reassuring at all, which did irk me. So she puts me on hold to go check her receipt because, you know, I probably just, she probably just cracked it up to crazy bride who, had decided she doesn't like something on the cake. No, no, no. I knew what I didn't want, and you put it there. <laughs> so she comes back on, and I get the, oh, you're right. I will send someone right over. What time is the reception? And I tell her the times, and she's like, okay, we'll send someone now. Did I get an apology? No. But they did get it fixed in time. <laughs> My mother-in-law, poor Nathan's mom, overheard this, and she had been there when the cake was arrived, and she apologized to me because she didn't say anything when she saw it there. You know, she had remembered I'd mentioned it, but she thought, well, maybe I would like it. I'm not mad at her. It's not her fault. So I'm like, it's okay. It was the bakery who had the instructions. 
and were told what not to do and what was okay. So that was my bridezilla moment. <coughs> the rest of the night was, or the afternoon was a dream. It was wonderful. I got to dance with my husband and even with my father and my brother and family and friends and it was a day I will never forget. My husband and son looked absolutely handsome in their kilted tuxedos and the groomsmen were in their regular black tuxedos and the black ties. It was gorgeous. And this year for fall I'm going to pull out a bunch of those wedding decorations and decorate my house. Which is going to be kind of nice. Just as a memory, you know, of that wonderful day. And that's it. Man, this is kind of boring. But I have to take my husband to class so I can have the car to run some errands and then pick him up. Yeah, my husband's back at school. You'll, you'll hear more about that caused us to move to a whole new city and have a whole new life. It's been a stressful first year, but worth it.